is Patrick Mahomes stoppable whenever Patrick Mahomes wants to not be stoppable? It is unbelievable the ability to turn it on and turn it off. Travis Kelsey could have caught, uh, if the game was longer, maybe 70 to 75 balls if he wanted to. They're running that zone against Patrick Mahomes. And I was talking to a couple people this morning. Can't run zone against Patrick Mahomes, right? Because they'll be able to find people that can just pick it apart. There are zone beaters. And Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey are basically the two um, – prototypes of zone beaters okay travis kelsey can just sit underneath while tyree kill can stretch your zone or come underneath and get yardage after that whole thing and tony romo was pitching three down linemen with milano following him or whatever and everybody else sitting back in kind of an umbrella coverage and maybe that would have worked but i struggled to see how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to be able to do what nobody else has really been able to do while Patrick Mahomes and these boys have been together, and that's stop them from getting a win. Although I do believe with the way Pierre Paul has been playing and Fisher out and Vita Vea is back, and he yeah. did cause some problems yesterday, even though he didn't play the entire game, I feel like the Chiefs were, what, were right in the middle. You go back, what, 20 years for that Patriots thing, and I don't know if anybody was telling anybody, like, hey, 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 hey. Hey, fucking pay attention, okay? For the next, like, 19 years or so, these motherfuckers are going to do this thing, and they're just going to run it back and run it back and run it back. And you're like, no, not possible. It's like, yeah, I agree. Not fucking possible. <laughs> not supposed to be possible. The way parity is, what the way draft is, what salary cap, everything like that, especially if you lose in the Super Bowl, the odds of making it back to the Super Bowl before the Patriots and the Bills team, I guess, of the fall back in the day, was so low, so hard to go back. And the Patriots were able to do it back to back to back. And all anybody wanted to do was throw rocks at things that shine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right now, I think we should be enjoying the shit out of this Chiefs dynasty that we're about to see. And I think they win the Super Bowl ultimately. But I got a lot of friends down in Tampa that are like, hey, we're playing football at a different level right now. Have a little bit of respect. And I can respect that, especially after the big win yesterday in Lambeau. The only way I see Mahomes getting stopped is potentially just like when Brady threw 50 touchdowns the year that they were going up against the Giants going in the Super Bowl. And the Giants had that package where they got to Brady. And the Bucks, who have Shaq Barrett, who have Sue, who have Vita Vey, who have JPP, and then the Chiefs. Fish- oh, Sue! I completely forgot about Sue. He doesn't have a Super Bowl, and here he is. Uh-huh. Fish- I completely forgot about Sue. <laughs> Fisher's out. Schwartz is out. Who was their starting tackle? Assemble was out. Duver- Duvernay Tardif is out solving code. Of- COVID. So In that's, Canada, by the way. So that's four, I believe, of their starters from last year's Super Bowl. So the only way, maybe, maybe. Is if they get pressure on Mahomes, but which, by the way, could that's how you get them. By the way, is your front four have to be able to create pressure, yeah. but then you have to keep them in the pocket because if he gets outside the pocket, he extends the play. If he extends the play, ain't nobody can keep up with Tyreek Hill. That thing yesterday to Tyreek Hill where he cut it back, wild. Oh. And we talked about it earlier. Josh Norman was like, oh, yeah. holy <laughs> shit!" <laughs> Everybody, there's a, there's a couple plays from Tyreek Hill's career where you turn it on and you think to yourself, "How is that human? That human?" You know what I mean? Like how, amongst all the best athletes in the, how is that particular human the one that does it? There's a game against New England, I think, where he caught like a, a comeback route, yeah. and there was three people around him, and he ran backwards and then just around him, and they wouldn't have touched him if it was flag football or two hand touch, oh. and it was in a literal phone booth. Last night was one of those things when he cut it back, and I thought he was going to do it two different times. The one he went out of bounds yeah. and ended up getting mm-hmm. tackled. That one where he cut it back and went for it, like that's quite an X factor for you, and it almost feels like Tyreek Hill is always on. Yeah. Like, do do you remember a time where you're like, you know what, Tyreek Hill, bad game. I don't think so. Nope. At least since he's got those gloves that have the peace signs on them, it, it, it feels like he has been on every game. He's, it feels like he's always going to be good. And Travis Kelsey, always going to be open, it seems like. It was kind of funny last night because Hardman had the muff punt, and then he had a few big plays after that. And then uh, uh, Tyree Kill had the drop on the first drive, I believe it was. It was a uh, third and three, and then they went deep to him and he dropped it. But then after that, he absolutely took off as well. Yeah. It's just, and by the way, you're going to get so many shots at it because the way Andy Reid's offense is, is like, hey, here we go. We're going. How about Williams coming in? Yeah. Yeah, he's running he's hard. Stunned. Clyde Edwards Alaire comes in. They give him a couple. Okay, no, we're going to go back to our undrafted guy. He runs his ass mm-hmm. off out there. 